Hello everyone, I am from mobilesmspk.net. And today I will do a comparison between QMobile S6 Plus and QMobile J5, so let's get started. I have already made review video of QMobile S6 Plus, and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile S6 Plus is available in Pakistan for Rs 13,000, and J5 is available in Rs 13,990. I will do this comparison in different rounds, like round 1 for design, round 2 for display, and so on. If any phone wins in that round, then I will increase its score by 1, and this will help us to decide which phone is the winner at the end of this comparison. So in round 1 we will look into the design of both phones. Both phones are made of plastic, and both feel solid and sturdy in hand. Let me show you all the sides of both phones. S6 Plus has 3.5mm headphone jack along with micro USB port at the top, while J5 has only 3.5mm headphone jack on the top. Both phones have volume rockers and power button on the right. Nothing on the S6 Plus at the bottom, as microphone is hidden inside back cover, but on J5 there is micro USB port and microphone located at the bottom. Nothing on the left side on both phones. On back both phones have 8 megapixel camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at bottom, but on S6 Plus there is fingerprint sensor as well. Fingerprint sensor is missing on J5. Back covers of both phones are made of plastic, but S6 Plus don't attract fingerprints at all, while back cover of J5 is made of shiny plastic with ripple effects, but it is fingerprint magnet. Notification LED is missing on S6 Plus, but notification LED is present on J5. Both phones have two dedicated SIM card slots, and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. S6 Plus does not support 4G, but J5 does supports 4G LTE. Let me show you the weight of both devices. Because S6 Plus has larger battery, and it is also bigger in dimensions, so it is heavier than J5. Design is the thing in which personal preference matters the most. You might disagree with me, but for me it is difficult to choose between two phones as far as design is concerned. That's why I call it a draw. Let's move to round 2, which is display. S6 Plus has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution, while J5 has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. J5 has more pixel density than S6 Plus, which is also reflecting on its display, as J5 display looks more brighter and more sharper as compared to S6 Plus. And colors are also more vibrant on J5. So the winner of this round is J5. Now let's move to the next round, and in this round we will look into the battery performance of both phones. S6 Plus has 2500 mAh battery, while J5 has 2300 mAh battery. Battery difference is not very huge on both devices, but because J5 has more bright screen, so it is taxing more juice from its battery, and I have only managed to get 3 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness on J5. But battery performance of S6 Plus is impressive, and it provides solid 5.5 hours of screen on time. Brighter screen was advantage of J5 in last round, but on this round it becomes disadvantage. So the winner of this round is S6 Plus. Now let's move to next round and in this round we will test speaker quality of both phones. Both phones have backfiring speakers, so let's check the sound quality of both phones. J5 
speakers are much louder than S6 Plus. So the winner of this round is J5. Let's move to the next round, and in this round we will compare the benchmark scores on both phones. Both phones are powered by 1.3 GHz quad-core processors, and both phones have 2 GB of RAM, but S6 Plus has 32-bit processor, while J5 has 64-bit processor. So let's check out which phone will perform better in benchmark scores. Here is the end to 2 scores of both phones. And here is the Geekbench single and multi-core score. Both Antutu and Geekbench scores on J5 are better than S6+. So the winner of this round is J5. Now let's move to public demand round. In this round I will compare camera quality of both phones. Both phones have 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. So let's see which phone performs well in this round. I will show pictures of both phones side by side which helps us to decide which phones has better camera quality. Camera quality of J5 is much better than S6 Plus. I have only compared back camera in this round, but I have uploaded camera samples of both phones on my website, and you can download camera sample from there. Links are mentioned in the video description. So the winner of this round is J5. Let's move to next round, and in this round we will see the boot up time of both phones. Let me boot up both phones on same time. S6 Plus is the winner of this round, as it boots up faster than J5. Now let's move to the final round. In this round I will do a speed test of both phones. I will open multiple apps and games on both phones on same time. I will also check memory management of both phones, by switching apps and games loaded into the memory. So let's begin the test. I have opened several apps, and not a single app is loaded faster on S6 Plus. Now let's open some games to see if S6 Plus can catch up J5.
All the games also loaded faster on J5. Let me check task manager and see that all the apps are still stored in the memory. It is looking like memory management is not optimized on S6 Plus, and it is refreshing apps frequently. But there is no such issue with J5, and it is storing apps in the memory very well. So the winner of this round is J5, there is only 1000 rupees difference in price of both phones, but you can clearly notice that there is big difference in both phones in terms of performance. I was not impressed with S6 Plus from the start, and now these tests are proving that I was right. Let me know what do you think about my opinion. Here is the final score line. J5 wins that comparison. So that was the comparison between Qmobile S6 Plus and Qmobile J5. I hope this video helps you to decide which phone belongs to you, if you are planning to buy any one of these phones. I will bring more videos like this in future, so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now. Please do also let me know that, does my videos are helping you or not? Are you benefiting with my videos or not? Your feedback will helps me to improve my videos in future. And don't forget to like this video. You can always visit my website to download not only camera samples, but there are so many other useful stuff on my website as well, so I highly recommending you to visit my website. Website link is mentioned in the video description.